Hey, and welcome to Reseller News. Today is May 21st, 2018. My name is Rich Bassini. For those who are new to my YouTube channel, I just want to say thank you very much. I hope you get something out of the Reseller News. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to bump out of the screen here and jump right into it. Here you see over here, the first off, all the information that you see here coming off of this, this uh, Reseller News is coming from ecommercebytes.com. So um, for those who are new, um, I don't read all the uh, websites, all the pages that we're going to have up on the top here, as you can see. Uh, I don't read them verbatim, but basically I just go over a few of them. You know, like I read a little about it and then I will, you know, go to the next one. I don't read them all verbatim because we'll be here all day. <laughs> so let's get started. It says over here, new look for eBay view item pages. It looks like, it says over here, it looks like eBay is dumping the top rated seller badge for a sleeker look is placing it above the seller info on the view item page. The changes were spotted by readers and sellers posting on eBay's discussion board, but not everyone could see the new design. Is eBay testing iterations or is it, final, is it a final uh, design that will roll out shortly? It's too early to tell. Then it goes down to say <clears throat> a few things worth noting about the, view, the new view item page that it was spotted today. The TRS badge is very different looking. The seller information is pushed, is pushed down on the page. There is no more save this uh, seller uh, link. Hmm. Well, that's not good because uh, I don't know if they're going to improvise that, but it's always nice to have them be able, where they could save the seller. Uh, it says it's easy to wait. Um, to weigh in from the seller's point of view, but let's but let us look know if this is what it will appear to buyers. And then it's over here. It goes the changes impact on the top right side of the view item page. Here's a graphic showing the current design and the new design. Um, what do you guys think about this here, folks? Because I'll be honest with you, I like this one better. To the end, this is like it's more just like an uh, emoji picture here. I'd rather have this one here. At least it's a little colorful, you know, it stands out. But um, hey. It's their platform. If that's how they're going to set it up, that's what we got to look forward to, folks. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. Um, if you guys want to drop a comment in the box below and let me know what you think, uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Let's move right along. <clears throat> the other one here is eBay's, uh, eBay comment commences next phase of guaranteed delivery. It says eBay, it says eBay began opting uh, additional sellers into the guaranteed delivery program this week. Not without some bumps in the road. Sellers have uh, sellers have told e-commerce bites. With the guaranteed delivery program, eBay is allowing shoppers to filter search results to show only items that offer a guaranteed delivery within three days. You could read more about it in the seller's guide to eBay guaranteed delivery uh, published in e-commerce bites. It was on Sunday. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I believe I'm in the program. I think if you were a top rated seller and you maintained a certain uh, criteria within your, you know, your seller uh, profile, uh, I think they automatically you would get involved with this here, the uh, eBay Guaranteed Delivery Program. Um, I don't know. I don't see too much of a difference with it, but uh, supposedly a lot of people do like the idea of being in it. I understand you can opt out of it. Um, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I haven't had too many sales to say it could actually, you know, where it was it was very, you know, valuable to have so to be in. But uh, we'll give it a little take. We'll see what happens. Let's give it a little more time and see. You know, we'll take it one day at a time. Let's move right along, folks. And if you again any of this information you want to read, you just go to ecommercebytes.com. Moving right along, can eBay pull off the new personalized shopping feature? eBay announced a new feature available on its mobile app that allows shoppers to customize their home page. If you have a fee, uh, feeling of deja vu, it's because eBay has tried this concept before in October 2012. To much fanfare, eBay announced the new personalized homepage. Here's what we wrote in 2013 after it launched. eBay announced the new logo and personalized homepage in October to great fanfare, calling it the new eBay. The homepage collage features have been compared <clears throat> to Pinterest. You tell eBay your interest and it shows your photos. Uh, for your newly added uh, I, uh, listings, scroll the mouse over the photo and you'll see the listing title, price, and the watch button. Um, this to me sounds like it's the same thing as the interest page, and I think we're going to be coming up on that there as well. Uh, I don't know if that's what that's what it sounds like, the personalized page, because I know they came out with they rolled out this new feature called interest, and uh, I believe that's going to be in this uh, reseller news. So 
Uh, we'll be reading a little more about that probably. I don't know which uh, website it's on. I mean, we know it's on e-commerce, but I don't know which uh, tag, you know, type of line here. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, Amazon creates marketplace developer council. <clears throat> Amazon is working more closely with developers on sell, of seller tools. The company confirmed the existence of Amazon Marketplace Developer Council, an imitation-only program for software developers who uh, integrate with Amazon via Marketplace Web Services. Uh, it's unclear if it is part of the strategy to tighten up the types of automation tools accessible to sellers. Uh, then it goes on to say a handful of companies that provide tools for Amazon sellers announced their membership in the program this month and last but Amazon uh, not share its membership with e-commerce bytes and declined further comment. Um, again, I don't really deal with uh, with Amazon right now, folks. I'm not selling on it. So if you guys are, you know, Amazon sellers, you might want to look into this here and find, you know, read a little more about it. I'm not going to get too into it because, like I said, again, I'm not really an Amazon seller. So uh, if you guys want to check it out, just go to ecommercebytes.com. And uh, I'm sure if you go to the home page, you will see uh, all the items that, that are listed in, on, this, on this reselling news. You should see it on the home page. Let's move right along. Weighing in on e-commerce current events. It says there will be some readers weighed in on recent news stories that others may also find interesting. For your FYI, Fast Company article on eBay's new feature, notice the author still thinks, uh, st still thinks Target is on eBay's uh Okay, eBay's editor note that references Target's decision to close its store on eBay. Uh, Robert, that's the I guess the person who wrote into it. eBay's new feature finds the products you might actually buy, and the company is FastCompany.com, I believe. And then it goes on to say this might make a very interesting story. Seems eBay's trying to limit shareholders' ability to have meetings. Guessing this is because of how bad the company's latest quarterly numbers were. And the guy person wrote it was Mark. Uh, JP Morgan and eBay are under fire for over uh, fire over shareholder meetings. Uh, that's enough for, that was written from the Financial Times. And this one goes on to say, "Wow, McCurry, multi-billion-dollar valuation. Who knew?" Now, McCurry, I don't, um, I never really got involved with that. There, I, I'm thinking of selling on it. I don't know if anybody has been selling on it, but uh, you might want to check into it. Uh, I don't know. I heard a couple of sellers that that were dealing with it. Is that some some sellers said they. They did pretty good on it. Uh, I, I, I registered with it, but I never actually sold on it. So that might be another platform to, to look into. I don't know if you guys or anybody selling on it, but if you are and you uh, you had any good luck with it, maybe you want to share it with us. That'd be greatly appreciated. Let's move right along. <clears throat> okay, eBay appeals to buyers directly with promotion. Okay. It says eBay is changing things when it comes to promotions. eBay has long relied on promotions to encourage sellers to list their items that would attract buyers, but eBay is doing more to appeal to the buyers directly. Uh, it goes on to say one example is, is the increase this year in flash sales uh, on eBay. Limited time offers and that gives buyers a coupon for spending a certain amount, a certain minimum amount. Uh, yesterday was the latest such sale. eBay Canada ran a site-wide uh, flash sale in which it gave shoppers $15 off of a $75 purchase. Uh, it says what stands about these promotions is that eBay is funding flash sales unlike eBay deals that are funded by the select group of buyers. eBay is currently running a buyer promotion that is by invitation only. While, uh, while eBay is transitioned to invitation only sales for sellers, this is uh, more unusual on the buyer side. Um, you know, I don't. I have an ex. I've gotten these coupons, folks. To be honest with you, and I don't really use them. <laughs> I wish I could give, give them to somebody else. You know, but um, I haven't been really using it, taking this offer up because first off, I don't spend seventy-five dollars on eBay. I don't spend fifty dollars on eBay when I do purchase make or when I do make purchases. It's usually for toner cartridges and ink cartridges for my uh, HP printers. Um, but for those out there who do spend that kind of money. I guess a $15 discount ain't bad, you know. I'd rather have 15 bucks in my pocket, right? That's how I look at it. So um, let's see how it goes. Let's move right along. Now it says PayPal to buy Izettle for two for two reasons. PayPal is turning it into an acquisition for growth, better on international and in-store opportunities. On Thursday, it announced that it agreed to acquire Izettle. It is Izettle, right? Yeah, Izettle 
uh, allowing to allowing it to expand offering offerings in 12 markets while adding in-store capabilities in 11 markets and accelerating omni-channel commerce solutions in Australia, UK, and the US. Um, well, this is news to me. Like I said, that's why I'm doing a reseller news. This stuff came out here, folks, just to let you know, May 17th. It's old news. I'm sorry. As I said in my other videos, sometimes I can't get to this right away because I got other things going on and uh, it makes it a little, it usually sets me back a few days, so I apologize about that. But if you want to finish up and read the story, the rest of the story, you know where to go. Let's move right along. <clears throat> Here's what I was talking about earlier, folks. eBay announces personalized shopping feature, quote, interest. Uh, I was following another uh, seller on eBay, and uh, we're talking about this here. Well, actually, a YouTube channel. And they were talking about this here. And uh, they call it, it says over here, let's, let's read it. Uh, eBay announced a new feature called interest that shows shoppers what, what, what eBay thinks that they want to see based on what shoppers have told it. Um, and matching it to shoppers' themes. It has, has created a base on data and algorithms. Example of eBay shopping themes from streetwear to sports teams, home theater to Hello Kitty. Uh, eBay explains shoppers select what they're, look, what they're interested in and the new feature transforms their homepage with themes and items chosen for them. Uh, currently is available only on eBay's mobile app. Uh, and then it says announcements will follow, whatever it says, shop your interest. Uh, with new personalized eBay experience, um, I signed. I, I signed up for it. I downloaded it and stuff like that. It, it's pretty good. It just it's pretty cut and dry. Um, you just tell eBay what you know. They'll tell you. They'll give you a couple of prompts up there, and you'll tell them what you're looking for. Like you know, what kind of items you're interested in. I said electronics and uh, I think clothing or something along that line. So you know, it's set up. Uh, what's it gonna do for me? I don't know. Who knows? I, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said again, I'm not really a buyer. I'm a seller uh, on eBay. So for me, uh, this doesn't really interest me too much, but it may have interest to you guys. Let's move right along. Amazon announces new fulfillment center in Arizona. All right, this came out May 17th. After announcing plans to build another fulfillment center in Ohio on Monday the 6th in the state, Amazon announced Wednesday it plans to build a new center in Arizona. The new Tucson Fulfillment Center will be the fifth in that state. The 855,000 square foot fulfillment center in Tucson will fulfill small items such as books, electronics, household items, and toys. Well, we know he was shopping around and stuff like that, you know, for a place to set up a, a, another fulfillment center. I don't know. I guess this is what they were talking about. Apparently, he was shopping around. So it looks like, I, I believe, it's the Arizona one. So, um, well, we already have an office anyway with Arizona. And I believe there is a fulfillment center over here in uh, Long Island, where I am, in the Long, you know, in the Long Island area here. Um, I believe they, they took over a big warehouse. I don't know how many thousands of feet it is, you know, in square footage. But uh, I believe it's in a place called Bethpage, New York, uh, which is not too far. You know, it's a couple towns over. So um, at least we have one over here. I don't know if it's this big or not, but, you know, we have one. And it goes on to talk a little about the, uh, the company and stuff. You know, it talks about creating jobs and so on and so forth. I'm going to move right along, folks. And again, it says over here, I don't know if we, do we read this one here again? Um... I don't know. I don't think we did. All right. Anyway, if I did, I'm going to, I don't know. Like I said, that's why I don't like keeping a lot of windows open. This one came out May 18th. Uh, it says eBay, eBay promo entices sellers with the promise of buyers. Uh, eBay kicked off a new seller promotion on May 17th. They had a further, further enticement and invited, invite, advised invitees. Uh, we are sending buyers away, but send you away. It says the promotion encourages sellers to list high value items, invited sellers, who activate the offer receive 50 percent discount the final value fees for the first five items that sell for fifty dollars or more Ooh, yeah <laughs> big saving anyway the promotion applies to the auction and fixed price listings with uh, any listing duration and it runs through may 21st and that is today so um if you guys didn't exercise this here you might want to check it out uh, I guess it's only by invite only it looks like right Yeah, promotion coverage so high volume items all right I don't know I, I thought I I think I did uh, invoke this here to use it so I don't know we'll see what happens if you guys uh, you know are interested in this here uh, about this uh, eBay promo entices sellers with promise of buyers you could check it out again on the ecommercebytes.com and last but not least the best Amazon seller tools 
this is a free guide folks this is uh, again this is from a company called payability.com and uh, if you put your name and information here uh, you can get this I believe you can get this uh, e-reader well electronic book digital book whatever and uh, it looks it says over here the free guide gives you essential tools what you need stay competitive stay on time uncover opportunities so you could check that out as well I'm gonna bump out of this screen here and go back to this and I just want to close this reseller news out. I know if I'm speaking fast, folks, the reason why I'm doing that there is I'm trying to keep it cryptic as possible. I've been noticing a lot of my videos are going really long, and I do apologize for that, folks. You know what it is? Sometimes I can't, uh, when I'm doing certain things, or, you know, touching base on certain topics, I don't want to just, you know, go so fast or just keep it cryptic where, you know, I'm not getting the full message out. So, um, you know, if you see me talking fast and stuff like that, and you know trying to get the message out I'm trying to do it because I'm trying to keep it short you know what I'm saying I, I would like to keep the reseller news to be honest with you between 10 and 15 minutes just like draw out a blurb throw it out there and leave it and, and, and end the story you know but I notice my videos be going on and on and on and uh, I do love making videos and I do love talking to you people out there in the YouTube world you know so um, I guess that's probably another reason why I keep going on and covering these different topics and when I and I make them a lot longer um, I guess it's my way of giving back too. You know, I just want to say something really quick though. Um, I just, you know, in a, a couple of videos I did in the past, uh, I, I always say I do these videos to help people out, and I want to share some. You know, maybe you guys might get a takeaway from it, maybe not. Um, over here, I belong to you know a, the thrifting club, you know, the thrifting stores. They have like these uh, VIP cards, you know, and you can put it on your phone app, and. Um, there was a day that was last week and it was last friday they had 50 percent off and um the, the reason i'm bringing this up is you know i always try I, you know, some of my videos i said i i can't help people out monetarily like you know i wish i was very i could be more charitable and giving and stuff like that i, you know, I wish i had a lot of money to give out to help people you know charities and um so i said you know in my videos i always say i, I don't have i can't help you out monetarily but i try to help out by sharing information but the good thing is, and I really want to share this because it kind of like brings a little happiness to me. <clears throat> I wasn't able to help, you know, I, I can't help people, like I said, with too much. Like I said, I don't, funds are very limited. But what I liked is when I, well, last Friday when I went out, because I'm a VIP member, I have this app. And <clears throat> you're able to get 50% off. And if you're buying a lot of things at these, you know, these particular thrift stores, you know, that could save up a nice savings. So I was able to um, go to the thrift store that day. Needless to say, I didn't pick anything up. Okay, <clears throat> I didn't pick anything up, uh, which is kind of odd, right? You say 50% off, you didn't pick anything up? No, I didn't. But the good thing about it, folks, I went there with my brother and he picked up some items. He doesn't have a VIP card, so um, I went with him. And he picked up you know, quite a few things and uh, I forget how much his bill came to, but he well, it had to be over. It had to be close to seventy or sixty or sixty something dollars, whatever it was. Anyway, uh, after he paid, I you know gave him. They, they swiped in my card, you know, my on my phone. They read the barcode there, uh, and he he was able to save. I think it was thirty five or thirty six bucks, which is good, you know. So I helped him out, and then I was getting ready to leave. The cashier calls me back and says, "Excuse me, excuse me, you you have the VIP card?" I go, "Yeah," and there was some lady behind me had a, you know, a shopping cart full of, you know, a few items, I don't know how much it was. She goes, would you mind doing her a favor? Would you, um, you know, would you, uh, it's okay, she can, you know, use your cart. It's, you're not doing anything wrong, all you're doing is scanning the barcode in. And uh, she was she was able to get 50% off too, so she was saving money. Now they have two locations, these stores, you know, same company. So I went to the other store, the other location, and I was there, and I was able to help out another two people with that there and again I didn't buy anything I didn't buy not one thing it was just like you know it was just like I was going to the stores with that intention to help people out and and to be honest with you you know it was it was a good feeling it really was I mean I have to honestly say I really felt good about it because like I said myself I didn't buy anything but you know by me you know helping out that way it's a, it's a little help really I mean it's not much but you know a person could get to save 50% on their total bill that's a savings you know that's a big help in some pay you know in some cases that's a big help some people depend on that money I mean hey 
I, I didn't buy anything, but if I was spending a hundred dollars in a thrift store, and you know I had my VIP card, which I always have, it's always on your cell phone, and I could you know get it scanned in and save half, fifty bucks. That's fifty bucks in my pocket. You know they don't always have the fifty percent off sales, folks. Just to let you know, but they do have set days. Um, I think today today is Monday. I believe it's Mondays. And I think it's either Mondays or Thursday. They always have 25% off regardless. You don't have to have, well, I don't know if you have to have the VIP card still, but I know they always have 25% off. And the funny thing is with this company that I deal with, well, the thrift stores I deal with, a particular outfit, um, not, every, not all VIPs get the memo. They don't get the coupon. It's like a little coupon that's on your cell phone. And uh, not everybody gets it because one time uh, I was waiting online I, when I did buy stuff a while back, and I noticed a person scanned their phone and they read it there, they scanned their barcode in there and they got a discount. And I said, um, I go, I'm a VIP member, how come I don't get a discount? They go, well, not everybody got the email. Because they send you an email and they also update it on your cell phone. And uh, I thought I had it, I thought I had the email, but apparently I didn't. So when I went to the thrift store, I picked up some stuff and I ended up paying full price for it. But you know, what am I gonna do? Sometimes, and like, I'll never forget another story really to share with you. Um, I was online, I went there off day, there was no 25% off, no 50% off, and I seen, I think it was, uh, what was it, those PS2 guitars, whatever, those guitars, you know, the, uh, for Xbox, whatever, you know, and uh, I picked one up, I think I either picked one or two up, and I paid full price for it. So I said, boy, I go, uh, it would really be nice if they would have had a 50% off or 25%, and the lady turned around to me, she said, yeah, but... If they had those day, if they had that off, she goes, you know, those day, those sale things, that she goes, you wouldn't be getting that, and it's true. When they hit, when there's a fifty percent going off at these thrift stores, those stores are mobbed. I mean, they are mobbed. <laughs> I mean, you walk in and you see people shopping shopping carts full of clothing, electronics, you name it. There, there, it's fifty percent off. I mean, how could you beat it? You know. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because in a lot of my videos, I always say, you know, I want to help people out. And uh, that would, that really made me feel good. It was only, I know, what if you count my brother in there, too, it was five people. But you know what? It made me feel good to see that I was there even though I didn't buy anything. It was like I went there to help other people out, you know? I mean, I looked. I did look. I, but I didn't, like I said again, uh, there was nothing there that for me to, to warrant me to buy something. But I'm so glad that I was able to help other people out, and that makes me happy. And that's what this channel is all about, folks. Um, I want to try to help people out. If I, like I, and I do say it again, I can't help monetarily, but uh, if I could help people out, we just share any information. And I, and I always say, uh, if you guys can get at least if it's a small percentage of people get something out of the videos I produce, you know, create, um, that's a great. That's great. Even if it's like one percent, I really. That makes me happy. It makes like me, you know, makes me feel good that I accomplished something, and that I that I was able to help you guys out too as well. That's what this video is all about. That's what this YouTube channel is all about. It's to help and inspire. And uh, as I said in my other videos, I don't I, I do reseller news. I do uh, sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos. And uh, I do some do it yourselves and how to videos, but I haven't done those in a long time. I do if you look back at my videos and my old ones. Uh, I have done a couple, you know, a few here and there, but uh, that's what it's all about. And in closing, this video and this YouTube channel, folks, is a clean content channel, meaning there is, I do not discuss politics or religion, and there is no profanity on it, okay? Um, I want to keep this a clean content uh, YouTube channel, and the reason why I do that, folks, is because if you're in your living room or wherever you got your computer set up, and let's just say you happen to come across my channel. Um, you don't have to worry about me. I ain't going to start off nice like I'm talking to you guys now. And then next thing you know, the F word comes out, the F bomb. You know, uh, That is not what I'm about. Okay, uh, This channel is going to be kid safe, so to speak. So if you have your children, if you're watching me and your videos, uh, you're not going to hear me go off and rants and cursing up a storm and talking stupid. Uh, I, that's, this is not what this channel is all about. It's going to be good, clean content, and uh, like I said again, uh, that, that's what it's all about. But anyway, folks, I hope this video helped. I hope you got something out of the reseller news. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast. I'm trying to keep it short. I, I just imagine what it is right now. Uh, if I keep rambling, going, to get even longer. If you do like the video or you like any of the, any of the videos that you've seen, if you did check out my ones in the past, uh, 
please subscribe and if you get anything out of it give them a thumbs up I will drop the links below um, again if you if there's anything and if you have any questions on any of the uh, items I put out you know, my, on my on eBay um, <clears throat> please check them out uh, and I I've been taking a lot of best offers folks so if you do see anything out there that you like please don't hesitate Please don't hesitate to you know make an offer. The only way you're gonna find out is if you make an offer. I can't come to you and you know I could counter with you, but uh, you know you're gonna have to make that initial offer. You know, so uh, please, if you get a chance, check it out, see what I have to offer, and uh, yeah, that that'll be great. That'll be a big help for you and me. You know, I mean I get to unload the inventory and you get to save money too at the same time. So have a great day, guys. Talk to you next video. Till next time. Bye bye.